All right, so we've got the new the new verse. So that's off the to-do list. Message notes and warnings against temptation. Those are all ready to go. Now I can delete that. But let's look at this Word document that I was sent, which I just got in my downloads folder and open it in pages. Because while we're making these notes, it's useful to change some things so we can benefit from the formatting that Pastor Chris has done in some way. for what we're doing for the web. First we'll delete empty text that creates a new page unnecessarily. so that we're down to one page. Or two pages instead of three. Let's see if I can export as rich text. Or no, do plain text. Put it on the desktop. As you can see, all of this is done. So I'm going to select it all, copy it, and uh, I'm going to post this as a draft to the blog, which eventually will become a podcast. So I'll just say new post. This is also something you could do on the website. It just takes more work. I'll just paste the text here. And then cut the title out, paste the title here, pasting everything above here. This little dotted line in Mars Edit is actually used for the more uh, when you click on more in the on the website. It will show you the rest of the story. It's a little easier to sort through all of the sermons. Now this listen now will turn into a link when I have an mp3 file that's uploaded to link to. That'll um, make it so that anyone who visits on the website can click on it and listen to the sermons recording. And then I also put it in as a link into the star if I just want to play something quickly. This is interesting. It's actually not showing the answers. So I probably should use this version which has the answers. I knew there was a reason I did that. 
copy that text instead. We'll just scroll through quickly and see where everything is. And I add spaces in between. You can see in the preview the web preview to see how the formatting should make it end up looking. And then we go to post, edit the date, and this will be published a little after the noon. And it's a draft, as you see here, so I'll just say send a blog. This won't be live on the site, it's just saved on the server. So we can return to it when we have the recording already to go. So, we're done with that attachment. And the next thing we're going to do is put together the announcement slides in our next video.